Moving on to our next session, where we'll be zooming into the University of Malta, where the experts Tony Apolaroa and Carl Pelka from the Department of Physics will walk you through the wonderful world of quantum. Tony Apolaroa is a senior lecturer at the Department of Physics at the University of Malta, and he's Malta's representative for the Quantum Community Network of the European Union Quantum Technologies flagship. His research interests are quantum information, quantum thermodynamics, and condensed matter physics. We will show something about quantum mysteries this time. Now, what we will talk about is a couple of minutes, really five minutes, about one mystery. We'll talk about wave particle duality. We start with an image. We ask now our uh, spectators, our, um, the people at, uh, at home, what do they see here in this image? Do they see two faces? Or do they see one face? Oh, the point is here, you can see or two faces or one face, depending on what you keep as foreground and background. If you keep the black as a background, one sees two faces. If you keep the white as a, um, background, you see one face. But uh, can you see both at the same time? So what is this? What is this image? And now this somehow is a pictorial representation of the white wave particle duality. Because a system, like a particle, is at the same time a wave and a particle. And only when you measure it, you see a wave-like or a particle-like behavior. So it's very difficult to think at it, to imagine it, because a particle for everyone is something that is localized in space. It is here, now. A wave is something that stretches over extended space. So, actually, when we have to think of the quantum particle, it is something that spreads over a lot of space. And it is represented by an object called phi, we will not enter into it, that is a wave function. Now, what does this wave particle duality mean, actually? And where do we see it? We see it, for instance, in light. Indeed, we will make, we will show the wave particle duality with the instrumentation we have here behind us with lasers. A laser is an acronym that stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So, basically, a laser works by gathering all the energy that is, say, in the atoms and emits a light that is coherent, all with the same color. Now, in our case, we have a green and red laser. Let's show where do we see this wave particle duality. For instance, we, have, we see it in light because, and Carl will speak about it, light is, is a wave as we know it, but it is at the same time a particle called photon. A photon is a small object, but wave particle duality does not, uh, say, limit itself to small, very small objects. For instance, experiments have shown that you can have a wave particle duality with fullerene, a molecule made out of 60 atoms of carbon, quite big, and experiments are ongoing to make, to realize wave particle duality in viruses. Thank you very much and good evening to all the listeners. All the listeners.